changing and they go from all the things to uh, growth of the plant form demand, looking at the low, low carbon electro, electricity generation and also looking at um, offering business model for uh, road, user, road vehicle ownership but also some critical strategic issues around aviation, how do we reduce aviation contribution to climate change, the aging population, uncertainty over the future aging population and how they will travel, household, whether the households themselves will use cars differently in the future, looking at the more diverse car, car market, whether they will encourage more car ownership, and if you do encourage more car ownership, how do you do that in a sustainable way, new vehicle technologies, um, integrated transport net system, accommodating measures to ensure that they contribute to reducing CO2 emissions, ICT more generally, identifying how we can make travel time uh, shorter, and also looking at teleworking, the longer impact on community, commuting trips. We've all learned from COVID that actually some of us can do more of our work from home and actually how will that impact on decarbonisation. But what we need to deliver is a holistic transport network that looks at decarbonisation as a key component of that and not done as a separate entity. So therefore, in order to address these issues in a focused effective, effective manner, it's essential that we do have a genuine commitment from the public sector at all levels of government to recognise the pace of change in the transport sector and thereby ensuring that it does not hinder the implementation of the necessary innovative solutions.